well. Hi everyone and welcome to 5 Minute Fusion, a Who's That Anime podcast where Colin and myself, Steve, will take the journey through episodes of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, God Help Us, Dragon Ball Super and beyond. We're going to do them all in a quick 5 minute summary as best as we can. Colin, are you ready to continue this journey with me? You don't forget me. Yes. Excellent. Let's do it. I'm going to start, as always, by giving a brief synopsis of today's episode, episode 68, The Last Dragon Ball. As Yamcha nears the Red Ribbon Army base, Goku evades Black's laser cannon. Black uses all he's got against him, and Goku destroys the robot mech suit along with Black. Goku now has six Dragon Balls, but cannot track the last one. By the time Yamcha and the others arrive, the war is over, and Goku reunites with the lot. Goku's success is cr- in crippling the Red Ribbon Army amazes everyone. Poir scouts around the Red Ribbon Army base with her ability to fly, but she finds no one. Even Goku's climbing Korin's tower surprises Roshi. Boma promises to fix the dragon radar, and Goku promises to have Bora resurrected. Colin, what did you like about this episode? Uh, Launches game, silly goose. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> What does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I wrote it down and I've forgotten what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I, I think Lodge also says something like, uh, the next person that says another word gets shot in the face. Or something like that at some point. Oh, yeah. no doubt. No doubt. But I think, uh, I think she turns back to nice thing. And she does. Goes, oh, you silly goose. I d- see, it's funny, like, this one also, I have a note that says, how are we going to have a picnic without any food? <laughs> I don't uh, know what that means. Oh, well, that was it. That was it. Was that what it was? I think so, because she turns back to herself, and it goes, we hear her, like, because she doesn't realise she's out in the middle of the forest, and she's here for a picnic. And he goes, oh. how are we going to have a picnic without any uh, food, you silly food? goose? Silly goose. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. we did it. We figured it out. We figured it out. We were um, smart. <laughs> We only watched these like not that long ago. Um, yeah. yes, I, I did know. I can't remember who it is that says it, but when Goku turns back up, it might be it might be actually Krillin. He's like, "This stinks." He's not even wounded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> my my favorite thing, favorite thing about this episode, actually, just two favorite things. Apologies. Poir's Colonel joke. Oh. Colonel no. Corn. No, no. Uh, and my other favourite bit is the purple cat, the angry purple cat that just wins the chess game by walking through all the pieces and going <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, what didn't you like about this episode? Oh, Flowers lame joke on flashbacks. <laughs> flashbacks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I have taken a note that the rescue team are a nightmare. They are. They're just terrible. <laughs> yeah. Um... Also, Roshi shouting, here comes more turbulence. <laughs> he's a jackass. That's pretty gross. <laughs> As he tries to grope everyone. In fact, maybe that was that where here comes more turbulence. It's like the next person, the first person to say another word gets shot in the face. Um, maybe something like that. Um, Certainly, what do we know now? Um, Lodge doesn't take any shit from Roshi. It, she does not. <laughs> yeah. Com- Commander Black is likely dead. Uh, likely. He did seem... His big rocket was a big nuclear blast and that hit the hill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did find it interesting that the Red Ribbon Army, for some reason, didn't use, like, those robots to take over the world. Like, that robot that General Black was in was, like... It's pretty decent. It was pretty powerful. Yeah. Um, I, it has everything, apparently. I said to the check Yeah. Seat. <laughs> it was a bit where he was upside down. Yeah. It's like, why is he upside down? He's it's like firing a nuke at him. A big rocket <laughs> which the Goku kicks away in. Yeah. <laughs> Just misses him. <laughs> uh, I did think it was funny that Bulma, for whatever reason, just seems to be an optimist when it comes to Goku. And I don't know why. Because she, she kind of hates him. But it's just like, oh, if anyone can do it, it'll be Goku. You're like, eh, yeah, maybe. But why, why do you think that? I don't think Bulma hates Goku, man. I think I she, uh, the only person she gets along with is Zasha Goku. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we do see we see young Roshi, so we know that young Roshi was a thing. Can we see that flashback to Corrin's tower? Yeah, we've got the flashback. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so, oh, we've hit time up. That is the end of today's episode. We will be back next time to talk about our next episode of Dragon Ball. So until then, it's a goodbye from me. And a goodbye from him. Bye, folks. Bye. Bye.